Hi everyone, good evening. It is Andra, the Traveling and Saving Chief, and it is time for my zero-based budget for my one December paycheck, which will cover one through the 14th of December. I do get paid twice a month. And so let's get started. So we are gonna start with $3,000. And just, we're gonna go on down the line. So I do have a loan payment and I have not talked about this one. This will become part of my debt payoff plan. I just have not incorporated it into the conversation yet. Um, so that will, I'll explain it at some point, but for now we're just gonna account for it in the, um, in the budget. That's $771. And so that leaves us with a balance of $2,229. Uh, so we can move on to our next expense. So what we're gonna do next is monthly expenses. And this is what we will stuff into my cash wallet when we get done with this portion of the video. That's gonna be $500 that we're gonna budget for that. And then that's gonna leave us with $1,729. Now, the next expense is going to be, let's see, we're going to do the Discover card payoff or payment next. My Discover payment in this pay period for now, we're going to do $400. Now, my payment in the, um, in the debt payoff plan that I've made for my um, debt snowball is um, actually like $734. But for this portion of the budget, that's because I have other money coming in. So for this portion of the budget, I'm just going to budget for the 400 of that total payment. And actually, I think I'm going to pay a little bit more. Um, I have a little bit more coming in. So I think I'm going to put a little bit more. But I'll decide that um, in the next couple of days. So for this purpose, I just want to budget what I know is going to happen for sure with this particular paycheck. So when we take away that 400 from the 1729, that leaves us with 13 29 and the discover payment is my next so it is number two in my um, debt marathon payoff so discover card is next and I do plan on having that one paid off in January so I'll be doing a debt confession update soon okay let's see next is going to be our savings challenge budget And we're going to budget $350 for those. So $1329 minus $350, it leaves us with $979. And next will be our 100 envelope. So I've talked about my 100 envelope box. In order for me to get done with that um, by January of 25, which we're going to use the 100 envelope box to pay for number six which is the best buy city we're going to use that five thousand fifty dollars to pay off that best buy city card but we're not going to do that until january of 25. so for the 100 envelope box each pay period i am contributing 163 dollars towards that and that will leave us with 816 dollars so that is the 100 envelope box the next thing i'm going to do is um this is life and auto insurance. And for that one, we are budgeting $223. This is a, is a separate life insurance policy that I have um, besides my service members group life insurance um, through the Air Force. So, and then my auto, I do have two vehicles. So that's what that is for. That leaves us with $593. Okay, and then next, the next few things, we've got several small things to add on here. So the next we're gonna do is my HOA payments. And I did finally introduce my month ahead binder. You guys um, will have seen, by the time you see this video, you'll have seen, hopefully you'll have watched that video where I actually get started on my month ahead binder savings um, sooner than next year. I wanted to start it in January, 
but I was able to start that already. So you'll have heard me kind of talk about the HOA by the point time you see this video. So for my HOA is 85, I have, I have to pay two different fees. Um, there's an $85 charge and then a $40 charge. So it's still pretty low. Um, I know some of you probably pay way more in your HOA. So I'm very blessed for that at this point. They haven't went crazy yet. And I say yet. <laughs> so 593 minus the 125 for my HOA leaves me with $468. The next one is going to be my Macy's payment. And for all the other credit cards that I list, I am uh, making all the minimum payments while I work my debt-free um, my snowball marathon um, Macy's is going to be number 10 in that plan and I just I'm writing it all out just because I want to keep mindful of this is my plan I'm going to keep putting it into the atmosphere because this plan is going to work I am going to get out of debt so the Macy's payment is going to be $83 that leaves us with $385 and then we have um, internet for my condo that is in Colorado and the tenant um, that I just that just moved into the condo that will be reimbursed and I will actually um, I think I'm going to show that maybe in the next time I budget my first of the month paycheck I don't know if I'm going to do it this time I have a few more minutes to think about that just because that's, that might get a whole confusing. But anyway, <laughs> um, I still got to pay uh, Xfinity for this, this bill. So that is $50. Oops. So we had $385 minus $50. That leaves us with $335. And then we have um, my City Simplicity card. And I'm saying the name of the card because I also have the city thank you. And the city um, simplicity is going to be number three. So after I finish the Discover card in January, I'm attacking the city simplicity. And the minimum payment for that right now is $23. So that leaves us with $312 for that one. And then I think last but not least is I have a business expense. And I'm going to do a whole different video on all of my different business expenses, but I do have um, several business expenses um, for my counseling business. I haven't talked a whole lot about that. I am a mental health clinician as well on the side, and that will be my career once I'm fully retired from the Air Force. So anyway, in the meantime, I have some business expenses that obviously I need to account for in my budget. Oops, I was supposed to say minus. So that's $40 and that leaves us with $272. And so that concludes the all of the different expenses that I have in my first of the month paycheck. And that leaves us with $272. And this is going to be my buffer. And if you watch my last um, zero-based budget that I did for my 15th of November paycheck, I've kind of addressed like why I want to leave... Um, this this high of a buffer I do still have several like auto withdrawals and I just want to make sure I have a handle on everything before I go you know lower <laughs> lower than this on my checking account um, this particular checking account I do have another account um, which yeah I'll, I'll stop there I think I'm gonna um, think about that mortgage and my rent that comes in for my tenant and do that maybe separately in my first of January um, zero based budget just because because she just moved in early November I just want to make sure all those numbers jive before I start blasting it on the internet um, because I'm definitely using this as a tool to hold myself accountable to and I don't know if you were able to notice but I do have on my maize and blue because go blue Michigan beat Ohio State on um, this past Saturday so more about the football i know i talk a lot about the detroit lions but i'm definitely uh, excited for uh, michigan as well <laughs> just threw that little plug in there for for the teams all right so that's the zero base budget and i'll just hold it up a little closer so we got that everything is accounted for i did already withdraw the 500 dollars from the atm 
So what I had been doing on each budget is just making sure I go through as things um, hit my account and just make sure I'm checking everything off so I know that everything is accounted for in the budget. So that is that. Now what we'll do, did y'all see my beautiful owl pen from Erica? And I know she just changed her name. Um, what is it, Dripped by Erica now? But yeah, that's my beautiful owl pen. Okay, so now let's go ahead, let's move these couple things to this. I'll need that in just a second. Let's move those couple things to the side. This is my monthly um, A7, and I'm a little hoarse. I'm sorry if I'm kind of clearing my throat. Um, some kind of cooties are trying to, they're trying to get me. <laughs> so this is my um, daily spending A7 wallet. And um, I'm going to empty that out and then we'll restuff it. Now, I did have some cash left over, as you see, and I usually don't have any cash, which I'm actually pretty proud of myself because um, I did travel home to Michigan. I did um, eat out with my girlfriends just a couple of times, but I didn't think I'd have any money left. And so I'm, I'm actually kind of excited that, <laughs> that I had something left. Look, I even have something left in my coffee in my coffee envelope so i'm gonna just take all of this out we'll count it and then i'm gonna put it to the side and then i, I have all the the new money to stuff inside of here but i also want to show you look how many coins i have to put into my oof, into my coin jar for my penny challenge which we won't do that today that'll be in a separate video as well i have my my um, change jar from Supernatural Budgets. So we'll dump, dump all these coins in here. And I think actually I won't empty, I'm thinking I won't do my penny challenge until the end of December. So we can let this, let this build up quite a bit. Because we're making some good progress on the penny challenge as well. Okay. All right. So that's done. Okay. Let's see what we had left. And I may even, you know what I may do? I may just drop all of these singles in there for the penny challenge. You know what? That is what we're going to do. Okay, let's get a little bit of sort quick because we're getting ready to need that anyway to count this other money before we stuff it. All right, we had 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we had $67 left over in our cash wallet. And then let's go ahead, yeah, let's drop that in here for our penny challenge. Okay, and I'm gonna put this money to the side because we will likely just incorporate that into our savings challenges. So scooch everything over. All right, so let's count this money. This is the, should be the 500. So we got 100, two, four, six, eight, two, Two, four, six, eight, three, two, four, six, eight, four. So we're at 420, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 500. Okay. All right. Now for groceries, we're going to put um, $100 in here. 20, 40, 60, 81. We're gonna use the 20s in our grocery envelope. All right, in restaurant, we're gonna put 200. Um, I will be traveling again, but I'll be traveling for work. Um, so I wanna put a little extra in the food, just cause you know when you're in the airport, it's just so much more expensive. 20, 40, 60, 81. Um, and I can use my government travel card because I'll, I'll be reimbursed for per diem. But um, I just want to have some cash as well 
for for those types of things i'll be traveling next weekend to san antonio i used to live there when i was stationed there a couple years back okay so for gas we're going to do 100 23 60 81 100 for gas and let's get that stuffed into into this envelope for coffee we're gonna do thirty dollars so we're gonna do 25 30. me and my 7-eleven are getting along just fine <laughs> for spending we're gonna put 40 25 30 5 40. Spending, I'm glad I added this envelope because in my initial envelopes, I didn't have a spending one. But this has been coming in handy for just like something that's not in one of these categories. And I might need to purchase while I'm out and about. Um, that's definitely been coming in handy. Dry cleaning, I'm going to put $10 in because I did just get all my uniforms dry cleaned. So I should be, I should need more than $10 for um, my blues that I just wore. And then I'll have to wear them again on this coming Monday. I should be good on ten dollars though for target this time we are gonna put um our last twenty dollars into the target envelope because i just i feel like piper is getting ready to need something or just something is going to come up and i'm going to need something from target specifically um so i dropped that in there i'm not getting my nails done nor my eyebrows from the eyebrow shop because i just got that done so i don't need to put anything there Although you guys, my nails are really getting on my nerves and the fungus is almost all the way grown out. I'm just waiting on this thumb here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing nails again because I am not talented in that way to do my own nails. Some of you do such a great job. Um, I was not, <laughs> I was not given that gift. <laughs> I was not given that gift by the good Lord. So um, I think I'm gonna start getting my nails done again in, um, in the new year, but it's been a nice break, but um. I'm just used to my hands looking nicer than this, so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get back to it. But anyway, that uh, concludes this particular video. I hope you enjoyed watching my zero-based budget as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you, and then keeping myself accountable um, to my my actual written down budget um, instead of running around here just charging, 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 and then getting myself into so much credit card debt. Um, yeah. And then uh, stuff in my A7, my daily spending wallet. So thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you all for being so supportive. I really do appreciate you. And um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.